morning everyone. It is exactly 9 a.m. and today is Sunday. It is March March 4th and I figured I've been doing a little bit of vlogging lately and this is good practice for me. Plus you guys seem to like these videos so I am going to just vlog a typical weekend day in my life. Um, I've thought about doing the whole weekend but Mm, you know, so I'm just vlogging today, but Sunday is my favorite day of the week And I would normally love to just hang out relax and I usually try to do that by this evening um, But for now I've got a busy day ahead of me. So I figured I'd take you guys with me. Oh, good morning Hi Oh, you're so cute Say hi Oh, she says hi every time. No, she probably was just eating my flowers Yep Yep, look. Hey, no, we're not gonna knock the vase off the counter. All right, so to start things off this morning, I'm actually heading out, so I'm going to be making my tea. This is not sponsored, but I'm hoping that this works. I've talked to you guys a little bit in my last vlog about my bloating situation. I got this on Amazon for 20 bucks because it was really well rated. So I'm doing this, mind you, in combination with heavy working out and kind of strict calorie counting right now. But I'll let you always know how I like this. I've been having this every day with my breakfast. This one I'm taking to go because I'm gonna get breakfast to go. This is the kitty stash. It needs to be organized. And we've got some wet food. I think she heard it. Who wants some wet food? You! You want a wet foodie. Come on. Look at how lovely she is now, huh? Thea will be having turkey stew with vegetables and gravy. Excuse the mess, guys. As usual, got a broken drawer right now. Just gonna show you guys what I'm wearing before I leave. You know, wearing my Fitbit. I'm wearing actually all Victoria's Secret Sport today. Um, so I'm wearing this sweatshirt. If you guys can see, like the top part is like mesh and it's got an open back. I'm wearing this matching outfit, which says Victoria Sport on it and the leggings. These are my favorite from Victoria's Secret. They have the um, pockets on the side, which I just love, um, and they're super comfy. I'm wearing white Nikes, and then I've got a Victoria's Secret. Uh, how can I make this, like, not? <laughs> okay, you get the idea. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's go. Bye, baby. I love you. Bye. I'll see you later. Like I'm dressed for a blizzard today. It's actually very cold outside even though in most of the vlog it's gonna look fine. I thought it was supposed to be warm today but there's actually a chance of winter snow mix. So winter coat it is. I'm glad I didn't bring this home yet because I would be freezing. And just be real with you again this is a very real vlog again which I like because as much as I'd like to be the person that like all the cinematic shots and stuff. The idea of that drives me insane, picturing my day already being busy. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> There'll be those too, because I enjoy it. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go eat. Let's do that. <laughs> So I'm finally downtown. There must there's some sort of race going on today and it's so busy. I've never seen parking this bad. So I'm on a side street. But guys, just look at how beautiful this area is. I'm so glad you guys got to see a little bit of a time lapse of Yale 
Um, no, if you're new, I do not go to Yale, um, but I live very close to downtown, so I can just come down here whenever, and it's so nice. Just the buildings are just gorgeous. This is ahead of me. Look at this gorgeous arch, just so pretty. So it's a side street, but I'm pretty close to the cafe, and I'm so excited to try this. This is a new restaurant in New Haven, and they make acai bowls, fresh smoothie. It's like a juice pressery too, so I'll probably talk more about this as the day goes on, but I actually was having so many issues with bloating I felt like I wasn't eating right um, because I wasn't exercising for health issues and whatever so now I've been on a real health kick and I'm feeling a lot better overall healthier so I'm being a little bit strict about what I'm eating but because I've done over seven days I believe over seven days in a row now of the gym I am going to be having an acai bowl not that that's bad but just they're kind of expensive this is not something I can get every day I'm gonna go enjoy it guys it's a friend all right got my bowl so there wasn't seating in there like I thought but that's okay Guys, this looks so pretty. Guys, this is so pretty, it looks so good. This is the juice box bowl. This is their special one with granola, honey, bananas, fresh strawberries, and all that acai. Can't wait to eat it. I'm gonna turn the car on though. It's gonna make me very cold, I can tell. So guys, that bowl was amazing. I have to say, probably the best bowl I've ever had. Just had my first meal, I'm gonna have my tea as I'm driving. I came downtown, I don't normally do that, but I came downtown because I have to cut over to the highway to go to our nearest Target because I have a few errands to do. Let's do it. I don't know how it's been this long. Okay, I'm back in the car, but I'm at Target. I'm gonna run in, I need a few things. Oh, I also wanted to mention about this tea before I forget. First of all, did detox teas work, which I'm gonna tell you guys when I'm done with it, if I think it did, but the taste is actually pretty good. It's kind of, it's a little bit spicy, so if you don't like spicy teas, I feel like you wouldn't like it, but it's not, overbearing or anything like that. I think it's pretty good. All right, I'm trying to do different angles so it doesn't look so boring, but you can't see me. So put you back up here. Got some groceries because that Target was surprisingly not very busy at all considering it's a Sunday and I know the grocery store will be mobbed. Got some like essentials, like toilet paper and whatever. So I did get some groceries, so I've got to take those home now. And then it's almost 11.30, so I do want to get to the gym because the gym is actually where I've been having my protein shake as I'm like on this like weird diet thing. Not really a diet, I'm not calling it a diet. It's more like a, just a change temporarily. There's one thing you forget, right? I forgot vegetables to do some meal planning this week. I've got really only frozen green beans. So after the gym, I may have to run to that grocery store just for that. Always stop, get out of my sweet potatoes. Give me those, I'm gonna play with the bag. My new meal planning containers. So I was just looking at the time and I can't believe it's almost 12. What have I actually done in this video with you guys? And you guys have watched me kind of go to eat, park, eat, while well, you saw my food, heard my response, and then I went to Target. Um, but to be honest guys, this is typically what a weekend day is like for me. Getting ready to leave, got my jacket on, and I'm really forcing myself because I'm so tired. I try to only have one coffee a day, most days, and I don't have it in the morning. I try to have it like after two or so. Today I'm making a coffee because I feel so exhausted right now and I won't have a good workout if I'm this tired. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite little espresso drink. So this is on my board, I rated them all. This one's a five, so it's low. and I'm I'm gonna do a single shot of espresso. Do one or two. I'm just gonna do the one. I've showed you guys this drink before. It's like my favorite thing. I'm making a small one this time though. Mm -mm. Look at all my milks. <laughs> Fun for shakes and for coffees is coconut milk. See how I can open this with one hand. Oh, Thea loves when I open up new milk because this little tab I'll find under the couch and all over the place. Like her favorite toy, these things probably ever. Four dollars. Yep. Oh, I'm smelling because I'm trying to do it one handed. Do a little bit of coconut milk. 
Look how excited for just this little thing. So I went with the little espresso because I'm gonna be doing my homework at Starbucks later and I know I'm gonna want a coffee. Guys, look, I'm back in the car. <laughs> that coffee helped so much. I still feel like a little tired, but I was very, I was getting very tired. So finally time, we're gonna head to the gym. It's 12.30, this is like my favorite time to go to the gym. That's why I try to have like a busy morning and then usually late morning to right afternoon I like to go because that's when people are at lunch so it's not nearly as busy and it'll be open for me and I can't take you guys in there because I'm kind of scared to do that <laughs> I'm not like a professional vlogger where I feel very confident in that but I also don't think people want to be like filmed not like I'd film everybody else but even if they're in the background people get like weird even when you have your phone out because they think you're taking pictures of them so yeah we're not gonna do that I will be back after my workout to continue this very interesting, very not boring day. Oh my god, there's the cutest puppy ever right in front of me. It's a little French bulldog. Okay, I'm gonna try to show it to you. Oh my god, look at him! Sorry, I'm so easily distracted. This is like my life with like dogs. So I finished my workout, which was really good. It was just a good like moderate cardio day, which was nice. And then I had my shake, which was really good. I got the cookie monster, cause you know, it's good. Yeah, change of plans. But guys, this is seriously like my life, okay? <laughs> so Starbucks was really busy. Like every, actually every seat with like a desk area or somewhere like, why am I struggling saying this? Not every seat, but I'm talking like every place I could do my homework was taken there So now I am I got my coffee though. They didn't have any sleeves, but it's okay It's a little hot so I gotta put it down I'm at stop and shop because I forgot that I do need to go pick up frozen veggies as I said I forgot earlier so welcome to my hell. Look at all these cars. Yeah, this isn't gonna be very an accurate portrayal of how many cars are actually here. The grocery store on a Sunday. It, it is literally the worst day of the week to go to the grocery store, but I really need to just go today because tomorrow I'm studying for an exam. And then if you guys can see behind me, no, you can't, there's a car in the way now. Oh, oh, now they're moving. You guys see this pet center? I have such an urge to go play with puppies. I haven't been to that place in so long. Palmer took me once and I feel kind of bad. I feel like I can't really go alone. You know, I feel like the people will be like, oh, just you, just you to play with the puppies. I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm staying for three hours. So they let you play with the puppies that aren't played with much during the day. And so they get exercise and stuff. And it's so nice. I haven't been in so long, but no, I've got to go home and do homework. I'm really fighting that urge right now. I guess it was that little puppy, the little French bull dog that really made me want to do that. It takes everything in me not to show up with a dog at home every day. Anyway, <laughs> that's relatable, right? Hopefully this coffee saves me. Hi guys, it is now almost 5.30 and I have been just picking up around my apartment even though it literally doesn't look like it. I'm, if I showed you the floor right now, it looks messy but I'm organizing different piles. It looks sweaty still. I gotta still shower from the gym. Basically what I do every Sunday is I'm doing like my week prep. I like to use printer paper and I write out every day of the week and just so I can see it as like at a glance, I don't need to like stick to it by any means, but it just kind of shows me when I have class, when I'll be thinking I'm going to the gym and what I have for homework. And then I also look at my homework planner to kind of see what I am going to need for homework, but I also tend to write it on both. It's kind of, usually what I also do is take a look at videos. So this is a little target calendar that I have hanging on my wall that I kind of plan out a tentative schedule for videos for the week. Um, that way I can kind of see what I need to get done when and what I want to go up. I usually don't plan too far in advance because things change and new things come up. And then on sticky notes, like underneath it, I'll write down if I get like a video idea, I'll write sticky notes and kind of attach it to the bottom. So if I'm like left without an idea for a video, I can just go to those. The majority of that was kind of cleaning, cleaned my makeup brushes, cleaned out my closet a little bit because I'm trying to prep for spring. Um, I'm donating some stuff. I've already donated some stuff, but some of the nicer items I am going to be putting on my Poshmark. So I'm going to put my Poshmark here on the screen. 
Um, I've had the app for a while and I said I was gonna sell stuff on it and then never uploaded the stuff. I've still had the pile, but I am going to do that sometime soon. So hopefully by the time you see this video, they will be up, but I'm looking at, I keep looking over there cause I've got like this pile of stuff. So I've got a few things from like each season. So I don't know what necessarily you guys might be interested in, but I'm gonna have some good pieces going up. I think now I am gonna hop in the shower because I've bought this new tanning self like starter pack and I kinda wanna do it before I go on vacation to see if it gives me a little bit of a bronze. And if I like it, I can do it again midweek. But if it sucks, then I can kinda let it fade before spring break. So I'm gonna do that. And then I've got some meal prepping to do. I just finished eating and now I am going to start my meal prep. So I've got rice going over here. I made some brown rice. And then I've got all these fresh vegetables. I said I was gonna get frozen, but I don't know why I was gonna get frozen. And then I have two packs of chicken breast. I'm only gonna cook half of everything right now. Got my nice pan and I'm just gonna cook everything with olive oil and some seasoning. So I like to have a variety of veggies. I've got broccoli. I love carrots. So I'm gonna chop those up. Asparagus. Also got some zucchini. So I'm gonna get started and get chopping on these vegetables. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you, I have a separate pan here. I actually, I don't know what I was thinking. I blanked out. So you can do everything as one pan, but it's gonna, the chicken cooks better if it cooks a little bit longer than the vegetables. So I'm gonna put that on a separate pan and I'm gonna open these. I just have the chicken breasts and lay them on the pan. I'm gonna take my olive oil and then my favorite meat seasoning is this camp mix. It's like a mix of everything and I just, Sprinkle this all over it and then flip the breasts and do the other side. All right, so I'm gonna let that chicken cook for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna get started on the rest of the vegetables. Look how good this looks. So I cooked a lot less vegetables than I thought, um, but I have big portions of veggies on this. Um, these are gonna taste really good. The only thing that I added differently, they both have the same things as the chicken, just the olive oil and the camp mix. And on the zucchini, I actually added the thyme leaves, which I love to put on carrots and certain things. These are just so good. So this should be good in about 20 minutes. And now, Thea, hi. Oh, come on, Thea. We're going in the bathroom to do the tanning. She's all ready. This is what I bought to try. This is the San Tropez Self Tan Classic Starter Kit. I got this at Sephora. This whole thing was like 25 bucks. So it gives you the actual tanning stuff, the tan enhancing moisturizer, the tan enhancing polish. So I'm not sure what you do, um, but I'm gonna read the directions and then I'm gonna do that. That's why I'm in my cloth bathrobe. I did shower and I moisturized, so everything's dry now. I'm good to do this. So I'm gonna read the directions first though, cause I don't wanna be orange. I actually do the body polish and the moisturizer first and then the tan. And it comes with a tanning mitt, which is great. I have my old James Reed one, um, which I don't have the body tanner for that anymore, but I do still use the face tan. So I'm gonna do this one after. This one only needs to stay on for 30 minutes because it's an express tan. That's for my face and neck. So hopefully they match, even though they're different brands. Fingers crossed. So I was thinking I was gonna try to show you guys, but I kind of have to take this off and put it everywhere. So I can't do that, <laughs> but I'll check back in with you after. Sorry if that's disappointing. I feel like, you know, that's understandable. All right, I think that was successful. Hopefully 
my body won't look like streaky, but that's why I'm doing it before spring break. I did do my face. This one I leave on for 30 minutes. Like I said, this one will come off. The body one said not to get wet for four to eight hours, um, but it's at night, so I'm just gonna wash it off in the morning. I don't think it matters. It just said between those times, so hopefully it doesn't matter and I don't wake up like orange or else it would have said take off by eight hours. You know what I'm saying? Fingers crossed. <laughs> Going to check the food. It looks good. So I'm gonna take it out in a minute or two. Then I set up my glass containers with rice already. This was two cups of brown rice for the whole five. And these are the lids. Um, if you guys are interested in these, the link for these will be below. I got these on Amazon recently and I'm really excited about them. They're a great portion size. So this was kind of the first time setting them up like this. Um, the pieces of chicken that I cooked, were n they weren't very big at all. So I did put two pieces in each. So that only gave me two days worth. So I am going to make the rest of the chicken and then add them to these. But as far as the veggies go, everything was good. It filled these up really nicely. Um, so I'm just going to cook more chicken and add them to the rest. So these are either going to be my lunches or my dinners. What are you doing? Did you get your little... Yeah, you got your little guy stuck. Here. Look here. It is now 7.36. I have washed the mask off and I've put the next batch of chicken and I did the carrots as well. Been playing with this one. I just washed my face and my hands. I gotta start bleaching my teeth too at night. Because I just put on the mask, my skin feels kind of dry after. So I'm gonna use the Kodale Soothing and Energizing Eye Cream. I'm not gonna do toner just because I just did the mask and I don't need to like strip that away. I'm gonna use two very moisturizing products, both by Laneige. First, I'm gonna use the Essence Lotion. And then I'm gonna follow that up with the Laneige Moisture Cream. All right, that's the timer for the food. I love to cook, but it feels like I've been doing that for hours. <laughs> It's been a very long day. I put some leave-in conditioner in my hair and I don't brush my hair until it's dry in the morning. Let it do its thing. Well, I've done a lot to prep for the week. Now this week I can just focus on my homework. Yeah, and then I'm getting ready for spring break. I just found out that I'm going to Miami for like two days and then the rest of the time I'll be in Tampa, but it's not a super long trip, but very excited. I've never been to Miami. Put me in the mood to shop though. I didn't show you guys that part, I forgot. But I was just kind of like looking on Princess Polly and I was looking on Triangle because I think I'm going to treat myself and get a new bathing suit. Once my food's done, I think I'm gonna chill and kind of look for like a cute beach outfit or something. Wait, we're finally done. So I kind of added some different things. I was gonna kind of stick to like one veggie each time, but kind of got like a mixture of everything. It's not very pretty looking, but it'll taste really good and it's a great way to just kind of watch what you're eating. Alrighty guys, so I think that I'm gonna end the vlog here. I just pulled up Netflix on the TV and then I'm just gonna kind of like look around and get outfit ideas and maybe get a few things. But I wanna thank you guys so much for sticking with me today. I, I'm kinda of worried about this footage. I hope that the vlog turns out okay. I'll try to make it a little more interesting with editing, hopefully. But this is really what a typical weekend day is like for me. Um, and I wanted to share it with you. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Um, the likes have been really good on the vlog, so I'm really excited about that. It just means that you guys are liking them so if you're continuing to like them please let me know what you think it means so much to me that's it i will see you guys in my next video bye